Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about substitution rule. Suppose there is a grammar G having productions. A derives alpha 1, B alpha 2. And B derives beta 1, B derives beta 2, B derives beta 3 up to B derives beta n. Then we can replace this production. A drives alpha 1, B alpha 2 from grammar G by these productions. A drives alpha 1, beta 1, alpha 2. A derives alpha 1, beta 2, alpha 2. A derives alpha 1, beta 3, alpha 2. So on up to A derives alpha 1, beta and alpha 2. And when we replace uh, this production by these productions in grammar G, the language of grammar G will remain same. Now see how we have obtained these productions. These productions are obtained by replacing the variable B in this production by the strings of the right hand side of the productions of variable B. Right. So, for example, if there is a grammar whose productions are this one, which has these productions. Suppose there is a grammar G which has these productions. S derives A A. A derives A S. A derives A. Now, we can replace this production by the productions which are obtained by replacing the variable A by the strings which are at the right hand side of the productions of variable A. And when we replace this production by those productions, the language which is generated by this grammar will remain seen. So what uh, did I mean if I replace this production? as derives a a by as derives a a s right this is obtained by replacing the variable a by the string which is in the right hand side of the production of variable a that is a derives a s and as derives a a so if we replace this production rule as derives a a by these two productions right then the language of grammar will remain same it means So, if in this grammar we remove this production and add these two productions, then also the grammar will generate same language. It means if we replace this production by these two productions in grammar, then the language which is generated by the grammar will not be affected. Thank you very much.